Hello everyone! So I'm currently working on a project involving the ultrasonic fog machines from a previous video. And through my research for that project, I thought of an interesting idea to use fog and a laser to visualize air currents. I found this 50 milliwatt green laser for about $30 on eBay, and it's equipped with a wide angle lens. Lasers as powerful as this can easily damage your eyesight, and so you need to be very careful using them around reflective surfaces, especially green lasers because they emit in the non-visible infrared spectrum as well. As usual with products shipped direct from China, the warning labels are quite entertaining. This laser has a little bit of safety going for it in that the beam is not very concentrated due to the wide-angle lens spreading it over a large area but it's still highly recommended to wear laser protection goggles. So the reason I selected a laser with such a wide beam lens is that it pretty much takes a cross section of the air it passes through. If there is fog or smoke in the air, the laser beam will hit those particles and scatter, allowing us to see the air currents that that fog is moving through. I set up this speaker and directed the laser beam to take a cross section of the air that passes above. If this setup works properly, I'm hoping to see the air displacement that this speaker creates and how the pressure diminishes over greater distance. With the addition of more fog, you can see that the beam really starts to become more visible. Here is some footage filmed at 240 frames per second. Notice how the air currents respond to the speaker cone's movement. I've adjusted the laser to now face horizontally, and if you pay close attention, you can notice how different parts of the smoke intersect the laser in response to the speaker. Moving the laser through open air can be just as interesting, as you find there are a presence of vortexes and other disturbances that you would never notice otherwise. Once I had finished filming these experiments, another project returned to my mind. Many of you may have seen my floating screwdriver video that I filmed some months ago. A screwdriver that is placed into a stream of compressed air will suspend itself, hanging there in the air like it's being held by nothing at all. It's actually being held by a vacuum or eddy current that forms behind the handle. Using the laser visualization method, I thought I may be able to reveal the air currents that are at play here to the camera. Rather than using an air compressor to levitate the screwdriver as I did previously, I'm going to be using my cheeseball machine gun setup. If you saw that previous video, you saw that I am using a Venturi mounted in between the hopper and the barrel to draw cheeseballs into the airflow. This will make it easy to inject fog right into the stream, and hopefully it will gather behind the screwdriver and we'll be able to see how it's being lifted. I've emptied my cheeseball machine gun of its ammunition, and in place I've inserted the front end of my fog machine into the hopper. Now with the press of a button, I should be able to inject fog directly into the airstream. I've mounted my laser to the ceiling above this setup, so the beam should intersect with the screwdriver when it's in the air. So let's see what happens. Pretty darn loud. Okay, I moved the high speed camera back and we'll see how it works this time. <laughs> I'm going to try filling the hopper with fog before I turn on the blower this time so that hopefully it's a little more dense when I finally put this screwdriver in there. Well, 
Well, my basement is officially filled with fog. I don't know if you're going to be able to see the the uh, airflow from this in the high speed or not because it seems to have been uh, quite diluted by the amount of airflow. The fog seems to be quite diluted. It'll be interesting once I get the footage back on my computer and see how it turned out. Well, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, subscribe to my YouTube channel, Nighthawk in Light. Remember to click the gear icon next to the subscribe button so you can enable email updates for all my future projects. YouTube has a bad habit of not sending all my uploads out to subscribers, so this will really help. Thanks for watching.